Hey, I'm George. Welcome to Glass Crafters. Let me take you back to the classroom where we're making glass beads. Welcome to Glass Crafters. I'm Leanna Martin. I'm going to show you how to make glass beads, otherwise known as lamp working. And when I say lamp working, people always think that I'm talking about doing stained glass lamps. Nothing like that. This is using torch and fire and some glass rods and we're going to make beads. So for lamp working we're going to use a hot head torch. It's a special formulated torch that lets extra oxygen in to give it a hotter flame. We're going to use map gas and we're going to attach it to a non-flammable surface. We need tweezers. We need a graphite marver. This is the same material that is in your pencil lead and it is soft. Glass doesn't stick to it so it's a shaping tool and we can also put Millefury on here and Frit to use. We have a mosaic cutter. If we need to cut the ends of our glass rods we use these. So we have a clean end again. This is called a rod rest and it comes in handy to put your glass rods on and put the hot end always pointing away from you so you don't burn yourself or the table you're working on. Then we also have mandrels and these are stainless steel and they come in different sizes. Oops, this is my little skinny guy. And if you're doing earrings I like to use a very thin one and then if you're doing leather you can use a thicker one. The size that we're going to use in our class is a 3 seconds. That's the most common size. If you put glass directly onto this, it will stick. So we will need bead release. And this coats onto your mandrel. And then you can now put glass on here once it's dry and make a bead. When you're done with your bead and you need to clean the bead release out of the middle of your bead, you use this called a bead reamer. So you would put this bead in the water and you would just clean out both sides and that will get rid of all that white powder that's in your bead so then you can put it on your necklace and it won't get all over your clothes. Most important are my Dididium glasses and what these are good for, this is a soft glass which is soda lime glass and when we put it into the fire you'll see this bright orange flare and then it's going to be hard to see where the bead is and where everything goes. So if you put this on then that soda flare is gone and you can actually see your bead. When you light your torch you can either use a striker. I find my students find it easier to use a match. And when you light the torch you're going to turn your knob slightly to the left and you're going to hold your match right against the torch. I've already re-dried this. Take your glass rod. When you first start with your glass, you want to poke it in and out back and forth. You don't want to leave it in the flame or you can stress your glass and it's going to break. So when you start seeing that little orange flare on your glass, you know that your glass is hot enough and you can hold it. Your mandrel, you're going to put in your left hand and you're going to spin it away from you. Your glass is going to be in your right hand and you're going to hold it like a pencil, like you're actually writing. You don't want to do this. You'll never get the two together. So hold it. You can choke up on it. You don't have to be far out. And you get your glass hot. At the same time, you have to get your mandrel hot. The mandrel has to be red hot for the glass to stick to it. So keep everything turning all the time.
You want to work at the top of the blue cone right here. You don't want to work way up here and you don't want to work down here. Right at the top of the blue cone. Have your marble ready. And just straighten it out. I gave it a gentle push. all the time. Otherwise, there'll be a puddle. So when it's round, keep it horizontal and keep it spinning and go slow. Now I'm going to put dots on this one. So I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to take my color that I'm going to do the dots with. And in and out. And that's what happens when you heat it too fast. It pops. So keep this hot, so this is going to be in the cooler part of the flame. Keep everything turning. Now I'm going to come back and do dots. So I just want a little bit melted now. So I text and pull through the flame. Text and pull through. So that's what the bead looks like. If I don't melt the dots, then they'll pop off. So you can leave your bead bumpy like this, or you can melt it all the way in. And I just keep it horizontal, it's still red glowing. And sometimes my students will put the bead under the table where it's darker to see if the glow is gone. And once the glow is gone, then you're gonna put it in the vermiculite. Ta-da. Cool. Bead's done. Now that's gonna stay there until it cools to room temperature. Then you're gonna take it off, put it in a bowl of water, use your bead reamer clean it all out, and then make some jewelry. And how long does it usually take for it to... For something that cool. size, half hour. Okay, okay I'll show you how to do a twisty because they're fun. And there's different ways of doing it, but this is the way I do it. It seems the easiest for the students. Okay. So when you're doing the twisties, my thicker rod or my harder glass that I know in my left hand and you have to heat it because glass has to have something hot to stick to. The thinner glass or my softer glass I usually put in my right hand and I want to heat about an inch. So I'm going to hold it down like this and heat up about an inch and this is going to be turning up here and getting hot. Work at the top of the blue flame cone. And now you just rotate. Get everything hot. And as it's heating and melting, I kind of push it together some. Just so I don't have to go back and forth in the heat all the time. So don't twist yet. And when it gets really soft, we get close. Take it out. 
flame cut it. Hot end away. And then you can take your mosaic cutter. Cut the other end. Hot end away. And let it cool before you use it. And so now you put it in a bead and it would look like, it would look like, well, the tiger bead. So the tiger bead is done that way. Mm -hmm. And then this was done with a twisty. So is that, there's a twisty on this bicone. So do I have to have that prepped before I start my bead or can I start the bead, set it down, go no. make a twisty, come back? No, once you get the bead, it's gotta go in the vermiculite and then it stays there until it's cool. You can't pull it back out. So you get your twisties made. Ready, have it, know mm -hmm. what you're gonna do before mm -hmm. you start. Changing it, it's too hot. Didn't start hearing it. No. like a pencil. Hold it like a pencil. It's like chewing gum, patting your head and having your stomach at the same time. Is that him? Just even um, hold it like a pencil, like you're drawing. Oh, I have to the glass Keep on. everything turning. Yep, everything, always. <laughs> Get a piece of gum to go with it. <laughs> okay, your glass wasn't hot enough. And you can add more to that because it's so skinny. So add some more glass. You also don't want to drink too much coffee and go out. different things but that's how I teach and most of my students find that the easiest and then you can always switch back and forth. Okay. Don't keep your bead in the flame. You want to keep your bead underneath the flame. Okay. Yep. You want to have it near the flame but not in it because this you don't want to have molten. This wants to be molten. And then come in, yeah, at a T, there you go, right angle. Are you gonna try that? Yeah, I wanna do Millie Fiori. Oh, okay. organic. So when do you use this? If you want to shape it, like if you want to roll it, you can roll it gently. Gently, gently, gently on there because the glass is fluid now. It's a little harder than that. And then heat it again. And then you can do it over and over. if you push too hard, you'll break the bead release and then your bead falls off. Pretty good, you got a bead. All right, thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos at glasscrafters.com or on our YouTube channel. This is your glass life. Enjoy it. <laughs>